It's the WTTS Background Check with Matt Pelser. A band with two drummers? What do you need two drummers for? It'll never work. Wait, wait, wait. Allman Brothers? Okay. Okay, so there's one. Hold on. Grateful Dead? Okay. Doobie Brothers? All right, fine. I'm wrong. Today is the birthday of Doobie Brothers drummer and percussionist Michael Hosick. So I thought we'd dig into a song on which he played. Not just drums along with John Hartman, but a set of steel drums as well. Listen to the Music was written by Tom Johnston, and he said that it's the only song in his whole career that he was sure could become a single from the moment he wrote it. There's some phasing effects in the song throughout the bridge with Pat Simmons on vocals, and as he describes it, that, the phasing, was inspired by the Beatles. Nowadays, you could just apply a digital effect, but back then it was a little tougher. They'd record a part, record that recording onto another track with the phase reversed, literally inverting the sound waves, and when you play those two at the same time, you get the phasing effect, and it sounds all trippy. And you could say that that figured into the lyrical inspiration, too. It's a world peace song. Tom Johnston said he was inspired by the idea of getting all the world leaders together on a hillside and having them all listen to music and, you know, do other things, man. And Maybe we wouldn't have so many problems if that happened. A nice thought, if it were only that simple. On this, Doobie Brothers drummer Michael Hosick's birthday, who, by the way, left this mortal plane in 2012, but will mark his birthday all the same. Listen to the music. Today's WTTS background check.